Okay, guys, so let's hop right back into the story. Okay, so we started talking and, like, dating September 16th by Sweetest Day. So, like, was that September, October? So, like, a month later, he asked me to be his girlfriend, right? He took me to, like, this little Italian place, and I wore, like, this little cute cream sweater dress. It was, like, a vibe. He got me these really cute, like, deep red roses, like, wrapped in the, um like, paper bag stuff. Like, just super cute, like, this little deep red bow. It was just super cute. He was trying to be romantic. I kind of messed it up because I joke a lot. But anywho, so I'm like, okay, yes. It was all going so well. <laughs> But it was just like, ah, okay. So one thing I noticed right away was the dates started to recede. Slowly, though. Real slowly and methodically. One thing I can really appreciate about, like, deceitful people is how much brain power they had to put behind it. Like, I really like, like, the strategicness of it. Like, it's def- definitely a piece of crap. But I just, I like, I like strategy in the things that people do. So... Those started to decline a little bit, but he did not want to decline on seeing me. So he still like would want to see me for certain stuff. Of course, like adult activities, but still just like to run errands with him or um, spend the night with him or something like that. Just always still wanted to see me. And I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Like that was honestly where it started to go like severely downhill. One thing about me is I do not like needy people. I have three kids. (laughs) I got three kids and I got me to take care of. You cannot try to come in being the fourth person trying to request all my attention. So it was already starting to get real choppy. And then it's like he was, I could tell, even when somebody tells me like, oh, I'm a family man, this and that. Okay, then I'm going to insert you into me and the kids as a family. Let's see how you do. Guys, after one time, I could tell that man was not a family man. He was not nowhere near a family man. There is a difference I learned in all of it. Some people, they think, some guys will think that they're a family man because they're always around their family. But what I learned... (laughs) Is And when I'm saying family, I mean like his parents, his uncles, his cousins. Sometimes people are around certain people because those are the only people who want you around them. And it just so happens to be your family. So I'm like, that that don't count. <laughs> I'm just noticing that. I'm like, oh, I don't think you should really call yourself like a family man because them really just the only people that can stand to be around you so yeah but yeah one interaction with the kids I could tell he wasn't he wasn't built for it like he came over to my house right my son was telling this story my son is like like autistic but not I don't know it's a a different type of autism so you probably wouldn't know if you just seen him but if you if you're around him long enough you're gonna notice so he was telling like this super long story I think it was like an hour (laughs) So later on that night, he was just like, wow, like um, the guy I was dating. He's just like, wow, I, you know, you're so awesome for being able to do that with the kids. I'm like, you came over. He came over. He brought like um, KFC because the kids said they wanted KFC. And I'm like, you just we just chilled and listened to his story. Like that wasn't a big deal. Like as much stuff as you do when you parent, like listening to a and my son was what, nine at the time. I'm like, that's not. That's not a big deal. <laughs> and then he, what another thing he said, he was like, yeah, I could never do all the stuff that you do. Or, and I'm just like, um, <laughs> if you can't do the stuff that I do, you can't parent. I parent. I'm not doing anything crazy or extra or obnoxious. I parent. Like, that's, that's what I'm doing. So if you can't do that, you just basically tell me this will never go anywhere. So, who y'all, I don't want to linger on too much about this man because we move forward over here. But all I can say is really don't, because this was a white man. I am obviously a black woman. Do not assume, and I didn't either. I was just like, okay, let's see what this can be. Do not assume that men are different based on their race because they really 
aren't, if it's a solid man, it's, it's a solid man. The race doesn't matter. Another thing I will say is that I know people think that like the white men have all of this money and stuff. Not, not all of them. They're really, a lot of them are very much the same. Like men in general, a lot of them are the same. He was just not afraid of credit card debt. I'm like every bill he paid for me whenever we would go out, it w- he's definitely in credit card debt. And then I overheard him talking about it one day. I was riding the um I was riding the bus that he rides with him and one of his friends got out. So you know, I just sat in one of the front seats. I'm not about to just stand there while I'm not a part of the conversation. And he was just um telling him about, oh, I'm in, you know, I got to pay a couple hundred on the credit cards, but you know, that's all it is. I can tell when somebody is just outright lying. Like you can just tell them the change in their voice and stuff. And I'm just like, no, these, a lot of people just aren't afraid of credit card debt. Like there, it's not like, oh my God, he's rich because he's white. No, I'm telling you. And then what he does is in like the, in the winter months, he just works like extra hard to, I think like get some of it paid off. But yeah, it's, it was just a lot, y'all. And there's so many things. I think what I'll do on the next video, if I miss anything in this one, is just tell y'all like things to look out for. Oh, and I also wanted to talk to y'all about why I don't watch Shira 7 anymore. I figured that would be interesting, very enlightening to talk about. Well, let me see. Maybe I can get done with the things. And I didn't write this down. I like to write stuff down so I don't forget it. But what else would I say? Oh, yeah. Also, age gap situation because he was 18 years older than me. Do not think because people are older, they're more mature. They really just play more intricate mind games. I'm coming to find. (laughs) They've had a little bit longer to learn, like, the human brain or the, the female brain. I'm not sure how to word it. And yeah, they're just trying to use you in more intricate ways. They're they're all kind of after the same thing. It's just, I don't know. Like, he was definitely one of those people that painted themselves, like, as a good guy. Like, I would never do, like, what all these other men do. And to some extent, he did try not to be like other guys. It just kind of went horribly. My thing is realize that, like, you know, the sexes have things in common. Like, women have things in common with other women. I would never say I'm not like other women. Because I'm sure I do some stuff other women do. I'm sure of it. It's just how human biology works. Like, it is what it is. My thing is, one thing I can say that he wanted, what he was trying to get from me, was he was definitely into, like, weird... I don't know how much I can really stand here because it's YouTube. But he was definitely, like into weird uh y'all know what I'm trying to say and I think he was trying to get me to do that kind of stuff for like free on like using the girlfriend card so yeah it was just very weird he definitely was looking for a traditional type wife he kept talking about getting married moving in that was a red flag because I'm like who wants to move in with a woman with three kids like you you can't be super delusional as a woman you got to be like I have three kids why are you so motivated to move in with me? That's weird. Like, you cannot overlook these red flags. And it's crazy because something told me from the beginning not to be in a relationship with him. So look, y'all, listen to your first mind. I'm happy I didn't. Next video, we're talking about why I don't watch Shira 7. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.